everybody to another episode of Detroit Digest. We're here on the corner of Wyoming and Curtis at Chef Greg's Soul in the Wall. Do you know about Soul in the Wall? Do you know about Chef Greg here on this corner pushing out some of the most flavorful, intense, really delicious food? I'm so excited because the last time that I ate this spot, we did this for a podcast, my show Sandwich Talk. I know for a fact that Chef Greg puts a lot of love into his food. And I'm really excited because this food here is unique. People come from all over to try Chef Greg's. There's somebody in there right now that said that they came here from Toledo. Number one sandwich you get here for sure is the Boogaloo Wonderland. Everybody who knows about Chef Greg's knows about the Boogaloo Wonderland. Named in honor of his friend Allie Willis, music producer, writer, co-creator of a lot of different music that you've definitely heard. So there's the sandwich inside that is a bomb of a sandwich that we're gonna be eating today. On top of that, there's some other treats that I wanted to definitely dive into. So we're gonna go check out Chef Greg right now. Come on inside, let's do this. See you in there. Finally here with Chef Greg. We're getting a chance to hang out. What's up, man? Oh, Everything's so great, to see man. You, man. It's, it's wonderful to have good, your friends come by and holler at you every once in a while, right? Dude. But when they want to eat, you got to feed them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know a few things about you already. I feel like I need to know a little bit more about why. I like to go back to my dad. My dad had a restaurant when I was young. Mm -hmm. And from that inspiration, and him being the inspiration as an entrepreneur, businessman, you know, and it, it, I just grew up striving, saying, I want to open up a restaurant, I want to open a restaurant. As my cousin said to me on the phone, where are you standing? I'm standing in my restaurant. You talked it into existence. It's something that Absolutely. you just wanted to birth and you made it happen and you made it a reality and everything. So I'm like people hollering at you. you know? I love that. You know, that's, that's, the that's the community coming out at Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Know? Here in this community, I'm just so glad that I had the opportunity to birth my ideal into existence, what I wanted to do. You know, coming from the restaurant hotel industry, um, as a culinary chef working for the hotels, you know, doing food that most people in this community that won't even go eat. You know, right. so I said, I got to open up a restaurant in my community. I want to put something out there that um, that I do. Not that I'm doing nothing new, but it's what I do. It's it's my kick. It's my style. It's, it's my direction. Food. It's my food. Everything is prepared to cook to order. Everything. The only way. The only way. So it's cooked fresh every day. Yeah. Say, what's taking so long? I'm going to tell you what grandma would say. Go sit down and wait till I get through cooking. <laughs> All right. I've definitely had the food before. Right. I've had the boogaloo. Aside from the flavor, the intensity of the sandwich. But the one thing that I love is the message behind the Boogaloo as well. It was an inspiration from your friend, Allie Willis. It was inspiration from Allie. Um, the inspiration was that she wrote the song with Earth, Wind & Fire, Boogie Wonderland. And so she said, we're going to put the word Wonderland at the end of the sandwich. We're going to call it the Boogaloo Wonderland sandwich. I said, we ain't got no problem with that. Let's do that, sis. No problem. So we just ran with it, you know? And so now it's the Boogaloo Wonderland sandwich. I miss her tremendously. If you don't know about Allie, hey, listen to some Earth, Wind & Fire, watch Friends, or, or or look at the Pointer Sister, the Beverly Hills Cop first soundtrack. She did those Neutron Dance and, uh, yep. and Stir It Up. I mean, she is an inspiration just within herself just to know her to have God put her into your life, walk with you in her spirit. We used to do the private dinner parties here yeah. on Sundays all the time when she come to town. Chef Greg, <laughs> the legend himself, so happy to be here, man. Thank you so much oh again. Oh my God. Thank you so much for having us. It's been beautiful, Literally, baby. Beautiful, it's been man. beautiful. And to y'all, sure. peace. Come to Chef Greg. Please come 10, to Chef 9 Greg. 10,009 Curtis, right off of Wyoming, around the corner from Mumford High School, the famous high school. I see you here. First thing, Fresh out the fryer. This is a pork chop. I've always loved pork chops ever since I was a kid. Going and getting late night food at a Coney. If you see a pork chop on the menu, I'll probably order it on the side. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. Light crisp on the outside. Very light crisp on the outside. Very juicy. Extremely hearty. Thick piece of meat. Great flavor too. I think the flavor that's coming out comes out as a secondary. The initial flavor that you get is really just a heavy initial juice that's been locked in through the fry. But afterwards, then you do get the flavor of the good quality meat. Heavy savory too. Very heavy savory. Woo! Yep, that's a barbecue wing right there. That's, that's a full wing too. It's none of this drum, you know, flat type thing. No, 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 it's a full wing. It's the way it should be. I'm excited, I love wings. Just gonna gussy up the one hand here. Mmm. Mm. Again, light crunch. Mmm. These are not dry wings. This is good. 
nice and sweet barbecue sauce too. Sweet and savory complementing each other on this one. Usually does if you do a sweeter sauce on a wing. So you know that if there's ever a spot that serves mac and cheese or peach cobbler, I need to get those items. This right here, this looks really good. This is a baked mac and cheese. You can tell just how cheesy it really is. It looks perfect. It looks amazing. I'm really excited about this one. Oh. I love when you can see the burn on the sides, the crust all baked around. This is for me. This is exactly what I want to see. Yeah. Yup. This is a good mac and this is a good mac and cheese. I've always been looking for crunchiness in a mac and cheese. When you get a baked mac and cheese, you want that top crunch. You want the edges as well. And this is giving you all of that. This is giving me exactly what I want in a mac and cheese. It, it's hearty. It's heavy. It's, it's beautiful. It's almost kind of like a casserole of a mac and cheese. You're getting like almost like a breakfast quiche in terms of the consistency that you can dig into. So I'm actually a huge fan of the sandwich. Some people call it sandwich. You don't have to. The loose burger. The loose burger is, it's a Coney favorite. Similarly, you're getting the same kind of structure here, except you got the onions, you got cheese in here, and it's all kind of blended in right here on the bottom. On top of that, you got the boogaloo sauce. This isn't chili, this is boogaloo sauce right here. I mean, I'm just gonna dive in. Mm. Mm. So initially, you get in flavor and texture, similar to what you would think is a sloppy joe. Reason why is because you're getting some of the tomato in there, ground beef. Same thing with the sauce, a little bit more on the sweeter side, almost closer to like a ketchup consistency and flavor. Hearty in the crunch as well, as you're continuing to eat. But all together, it is a sloppy, sloppy boy. The bun still has the crunch. It still gives you a little bit of garlic flavor, a little bit of that butter flavor. It's a sesame seed bun. It's holding together really, really well. It's good flavor, good sandwich. All right, so this is the vegan version of the Boogaloo. The same sauce, however, everything in here there's no butter. Broccoli, zucchini, peppers, onion, squash. Mm. Mm. I don't really think I was gonna like this one as much as I do. It's really nice. I've got a light crunch in from the bun. It was done with oil this time, not butter. The vegetables all have a really good crunch to them. They're not overdone. They're definitely not underdone. Everything in here plays really well with itself, including the sauce. The sauce on top adds that spice. It adds the flavor, it adds the kick. It's very simple. Yet it's, it's round, it's, it's, it's full, it's, it gets you everything that you want, vegan or not. I like this. This is what I came for. If you've got peach cobbler on the menu, I'm gonna love it. I don't know, it's definitely top five favorite desserts of all time. This is a triple butter crust dough peach cobbler. That means you got dough all throughout this boy. Oof. Get a hefty amount of dough there, hefty amount of peach. Mm. The flavor's there. Mm. All the spices. Definitely a nutmeg though. I'm, I'm feeling it. Heavy sugar. Loving the syrup. Loving the way that it's engulfed everything here. Big pieces of peach here too. Mm. The dough falls apart. It melts. It melts as soon as you get into it too. This is a symphony right here. This is delicious. I had a blast here with Chef Greg and his family here at Chef Greg's Soul on the Wall. Amazing food, amazing family. You can feel their spirit, their passion in every single bite and I felt that today. No matter what you had here, you know that the soul has been put into it. You know that Chef Greg and his family have been cooking for the reasons that they love the food. Their food, putting out on display for you. Come here, from wherever you come from to check out Chef Greg's Soul on the Wall. My name's Carlos, I'm your host. I'm on Instagram at Carlos underscore Parisi as well. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Detroit Digest, I'm Carlos. Peace.